What's up guys, it's Andy and today we have another lesson vlog. But before we headed out to the barn today, what I wanted to do was show you my little tack haul that I got from going to the store the other day. Um, we used to have a really nice tack store that was about 35 minutes away from me. And it was the place that I went since I started riding. You know, I got my first pair of breeches and boots there, got my first real helmet there that wasn't a bike helmet. And I grew to know these women who worked there since they were in their teens. And it was really hard when they closed down, especially because the manager I had, she was like a horse icon to me basically. And she was like a no bullshit type person. And she was just really fun to be around, uh, especially on wine nights because they would host ladies night at the tax store with raffles and box wine. And it was so much fun. And that is how I got um, my new paddock boots and um, half chaps was when they closed, everything was like half off. So I got that and that's how I got my Ovation saddle as well. And I'm kind of struggled to find a new tack store since then. I've bought a lot of things online. We do have a tack store up in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, which is like an hour and a half from where I live both ways. So I don't make it up there very often. And then we have another one in Whitewater called West 120, but it's kind of like the one in Manitowoc where it's like half English, half Western. Whereas our old tax store was just English and they had like the best selection of brushes, tack, grooming equipment, clothing. Oh my God, a clothing I cannot find anywhere. And I do not want to buy stuff online because I want to try it on. So I'm just like really struggling to update my riding wardrobe because I'm really not feeling the breeches that I've been trying on lately. So if you have any suggestions for good breeches, go ahead and uh, put them down in the comments and make sure if they're an online purchase, they have a money back return policy because the whole like in-store online credit thing just is not for me. So anyways, I went to this new tax store, was trying to look for breeches and it's it was just kind of awkward because it's a really tiny store and the selection is very limited, but it's also like expensive. <laughs> And there were some other people there. It's run by one of the local horsewomen in the area. And um, so they were all kind of like chatting and I did not feel like asking to film. Sorry guys, I just, maybe if it was her alone, I would have been like, hey, I have a small YouTube channel. Can I film like shopping? And I didn't want to do that while there was other people there because it's just so awkward to do in front of other people. And I'm not confident enough. Like the worst she could say is no, but I'm not confident enough to do that. So didn't do that, sorry. So I wanna show you what I got. First of all, you'll notice a new hat. It's been two years, guys. <laughs> we finally got a new hat. And I love the little palm. It also comes off too. So when I throw it in the washer, I can keep it clean, but it's uh, fleece lined, so it's really warm. And yeah, I love it. And yeah, it's just so cute. I just adore it. Then finally, not related to the tack store, my aluminum stirrups showed up. So I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I like the wide foot placement. That's what I need for my knees because my knees hurt when I ride. They're very lightweight. Like I could just like chuck this thing like a Frisbee. So I really like that. I just, I don't know why they just seem so weird to me. Um, they are not a safety stirrup. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I just do not have $500. I know it's not $500, but the safety stirrups that have the plastic part that come out and they have the wide foot, like they're really expensive. And I also don't like the look of black plastic. I like silver and I know they make silver easy release stirrups, but I was on a budget. This was a Christmas gift from Paul. So I was not going to ask for like a $250 pair of stirrups. So I'm going to give these a try. I just, I feel like this is so slippery. I just don't understand how like this is supposed to be giving you grip but I have seen you can actually buy this type of insert for regular uh, iron stirrups. So we're gonna give them a try today with my stability stirrups and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go well, I've got a return label that I can send these back. <laughs> so next I got some new spurs, guys. It's about time. You'll notice they are not very big. They are just 
a little bit, they're probably double the length of my button spurs, which have not been able to be used since they don't stick out past the zipper of my half chap. And I've been struggling. Um, you may see in the video with Bella, the little pony, the little chestnut pony. Uh, yeah, needed a little spur action to keep on the rail and could not do that. And even in my last lesson with Bug, she just needs a little spur to extend her uh, stride out a little bit more and didn't have any for that either. So I'm gonna be taking these out to the barn today. I don't know who I'm riding, but they may require spurs and now we're all set. And lastly, I bought some liniment because last week kind of made me think, you know, especially if I ride a horse like Bug who needs a little bit more aftercare after the ride, um, that this probably is not a bad thing to have. Um, and I'm actually interested to see Oh, it's menthol, okay. Everybody's like, oh, make sure you don't put it on your hands because it's all tingly. It's menthol is basically like if you got like asper cream or some over-the-counter lidocaine topical gel with menthol in it, um, it kind of gives you that cooling feeling, that tingly feeling. Um, you can just wash your hands and it will go away. So yeah, I'm really excited to bring that out as part of my grooming kit. I will be bringing my grooming kit to the barn this week because you know, last week I definitely forgot. So. Let's go ahead and go out to the barn. Okay, so this is Daisy. She's a little paint pony. I don't actually know what her breed is. Um, she's probably under 14 hands or just at 14 hands. Um, I don't ride her very often. She has her own two little girls now that lease her and ride her and have been taking pretty good care of her. She's kind of dirty, but it's way too cold to do any sort of bath work on her white parts here. So we're just gonna have to deal with it and I'm so excited to ride her. I just love her. She's so cute and little and she's so much fun to jump. Okay, so behind your leg, you 
after her behind the saddle. Yeah. So go all the way around the ring, and we're going to try that cover again. And you be ready with your crop behind the saddle if she falls behind the leg. Really, it'll only take a time or two, and then she'll know you need mean business. Then you can walk.
got it? one speed or nothing. Like if I give her a slight half halt, she's like just coming oh, out. Close, close your lower leg. She can get a second. There's no, there's no problem with that. She doesn't need to get to the drive. Just keep your lower leg tight because you're using your seat and your elbow and you need the lower leg. Two, three. Now see, that's how you affect your ride. Now you gotta let her go a little bit. Bring your shoulder back and look up. everybody post lesson reflection I got to ride Daisy oh my god I just I you know she doesn't do flying leads she is sticky on her right lead and she's counter bending in the corner but I just have so much fun riding her that I oh my heart I just squealed when I found out that I was riding her today we definitely have some stuff we need to work on and the spurs did not help me as much as I was hoping they would. She's pretty like dead to them. Um, however, I did end up using the crop like once or twice on her and she got really angry about it. <laughs> so I ended up throwing that down for jumping because she was going so fast that it was kind of dangerous. I did not mind her six stride lines they were seven stride for smaller ponies um but because she does have two little girls that are leasing her uh we had to go back and get seven strides because we want her to be safe for them and I just had a blast um I thought my position was relatively good uh my thighs are getting a little stronger holding me on I'm still working on my back guys you know I my shoulders are really tight I'm doing yoga multiple times a week and hopefully I can look back on this in a few months and see a dramatic difference and yeah uh, for anybody that is concerned that I'm too big for Daisy she is either 14 hands or just under I'm five foot two which is probably the tallest person that could ride her like comfortably um, and I'm under 130 pounds, so I'm definitely, and you know, I just have English tack is a lot lighter than Western tack. So we're definitely under that 20% of her body weight. Um, she's probably, I don't know, 
850, 900 pounds maybe. Um, she has definitely put on weight since the first time I rode her. Um, so yeah, we're, we're okay. I would never buy a pony that small for myself, but I do enjoy the opportunity to get to ride her. And yeah, I'm just so glad that I got to share her with you guys because I've not, she's not been able to make a cameo except that one video where I introduced you guys to her. So I'm really happy and it has been a great lesson. I do not have a lesson next week because I have to work. It's that time of the month. Uh, not that time of the month, but you know, working weekend time of the month. And yeah, so I brought my tack home. I'm gonna wash all my saddle blankets, clean my saddle and my boots that I've been using to ride all winter long. And we'll go ahead and do a Q and A. So look for that video next week, Saturday in place of a lesson vlog. And then the next three weeks after that are all riding videos. So if you have anything else you'd like to see, drop it down below in the comments. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. We're up to 54 subscribers, you guys. Like, I would have never imagined. It's just so awesome and I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you guys like what I'm putting out. Um, keep that equestrian community positive and I will see you guys in the next one.